Hello everyone. So the question is, the given figure shows an estimated force time graph for a baseball struck by a bat. From this curve, determine the impulse delivered to the ball. So we know the area under the force time graph gives impulse. We all know that, right? So we have to find out the area of this graph. So how to find out the area of this graph? I hope you can see. You can see this is a triangular figure. And we could be able to find out the area by using the formula half into base into height. You can also split this triangle into uh, three triangles. I hope you can see. This is the first triangle. Then we can have the second triangle here, this one. Then we have the third triangle, this one. And this is actually a rectangle. We can do by this method also, but I'm going to do it by considering the entire triangle as a single triangle. Okay. You can see the half into we will apply half into base into height right so just let me tell you this is actually the height that i'm going to use and you can see this is actually 18000 right 18000 newton and this is actually the base you can see i can calculate the base by subtracting 2.5 uh subtracting 1 from 2.5 right so we can get both height as well as base of the triangle so let's do it Impulse. So I'm going to write down impulse. Impulse is equals to area under the force time graph, right? So I'm going to apply half into base into height. You can see the base is 2.5, 2.5 minus 1, and the height is. See vertical height, 18,000 minus one, right? So this is coming out to be uh, 2.5 minus one is 1.5. And this is 18,000 minus zero. Sorry, my mistake, this is not one, this is zero. So this is coming out to be 18,000. If I remove the point, then it will be zero. You can see zero cancel out with the zero. This is two. If I cancel 900 and 15 ninja, hum sab log jante, 15 nine. We all know that it is one. Yes, 135. So I'm going to put two more zeros. So this is the answer actually. The impulse 13500 Newton second. So this is the first part of the answer. Now the second part force exerted on the ball. We have to calculate the force exerted on the ball. Let's do it. We know there is a formula for the impulse. Impulse is equals to force into time. But the problem, you know, what is the problem? The problem is the time is not given. Yes, you can use the time from the graph. You can see the force has started at point at one second, right? And ended up to 2.5 second. So we can use the time from there. And we can use another formula. Do we have another formula? I'm just asking. Do we have another formula? You can. That's totally up to you, right? Just look at the question. Force is equals to. Oh, sorry. I got it. We just need to find out the force, right? So force is equals to impulse upon time. We will going to apply that formula. Force is equals to impulse upon time but the time is not given but the way i have told you to calculate the time will be used impulse is one three five double zero time you can see the final time is 2.5 right and initial time is one so this is one three five double zero upon 1.5 got it so if i remove this point i have to multiply it by 10 and there is a 15 we can divide this table by 15, 15, 9, 135. We all know that. So this is coming out to be 9,000 Newton. So this is actually the force exerted on the ball. I hope you got it. The second part of the question. Now the third part is very easy. You can see the maximum force on the ball. You can see this is the maximum force. This is the peak. And you can see the 
force corresponding to this maximum value of B is what? 18,000. So we will simply write down this. Where should I write down? I think we are running out of space. Let me write it here. The third part on the top. Uh, the maximum force is equals to maximum force is equals to 18,000 Newton. I hope all the three parts are clear to you. Thank you for watching. If you have still question, let me know. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you very much.